Wow, it is flying. The Olympic is flying. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Roblox, and today, we're checking out a game called Build a Ship to Survivor's Island. Now, I've gotten a lot of requests to check this out, so here I am, and, um, this is pretty interesting. It's a more open kind of plan compared to a similar game called Build a Boat for Treasure, as you all know. So, we're gonna go ahead and check this out. So, yeah, and I see a ship sinking in the background there, so I hope they're alright. But, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, let's hop into it. Alright, so the one thing that I have noticed is that there doesn't seem to be a block limit, so... I think we'll go ahead and build a small ship here and uh, see how the game really just operates because obviously this is my first time checking things out here so we're gonna go ahead and start building a little bit of a keel here and um, this will be the basis for our small vessel. I'm not looking for anything too large obviously, something small that really does the job so you know, let's go ahead and remove that. The building in game is uh, pretty nice, I'm not quite sure how it is on mobile so if you mobile folks are planning on playing this game um, I do not quite know uh, how well it does perform on there, but I would assume it works well. Um, but as you can see, we've got a little uh, hull there, a little bottom of the hull. Obviously, it's not perfect. It doesn't look great whatsoever. It's very small. So we're going to go ahead and build a wall around here, and this will just kind of secure us, and we'll see how everything works. So we got a little boat here, um, and why don't we go ahead and paint it here if we can. So um, oh, it doesn't look like we can paint the block. It just selects this block here, which is interesting oh interesting so let's go ahead and uh, add some special blocks i think we need yeah control seat so i guess we'll just put that there um and we can sit down so let's go ahead and launch um yep here we go and oh we're off so this is actually pretty easy to control and um that ship over there capsized uh let's go ahead and see if they need some assistance and um yeah, we'll see what's going on here. So, I have gone ahead and bought a pre-built ship. So, after this, we'll check out one of the uh, pre-built options. And is that a mine over there? That looks quite interesting. Uh, we'll see what these things are over here. And Oh, something just fell off the, uh, the ship over here. So, yeah, I don't even know if these people built these ships. I think they might just be pre-built ones. And, yes, these are mines over here. So, I would assume if we hit one of these, we're going to be uh, screwed. So, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't even know how I'm alive after that, but you can see the, uh, the ship over there is upside down, and we can actually, uh, survive underwater, we'll be completely fine, which is, uh, nice, but, um, yeah, we've lost our legs and our right arm, so, yeah, and, uh, here's this person just destroying this rack over here, or making it a rack, I should say, whoa, holy cow, yeah, this thing is completely capsized, so this is really cool, so unlike, uh, Build a Boat for Treasure, this thing has got some actual physics going on here, which I really do appreciate, I like that, well, somehow I'm still alive, which is funny, but, yeah, now, as I mentioned, I did purchase a pre-built ship, and it's nothing large, um, it's actually just the RMS Olympic. So, yeah, let's go ahead and hop on board, and let's hope we don't crash anybody's devices. Well, apparently there's a storm coming, as you can see there's a warning up there, so let's quickly hop aboard the Olympic, and, um, let's get out of here. So, I'm pretty sure all we have to do is just, um, kind of get over here, and just hop up. What's really cool is you can actually purchase pre-built ships, which is nice, but yeah, so let's go ahead and let's get this thing moving. Alright, so I decided to skip the storm because I couldn't really see anything whatsoever and I didn't have a flashlight, so we're gonna go ahead and make our way over to the bridge here and get this thing moving. Alright, so let's get going. I'm gonna go ahead and press launch here, and here we go. Oh boy, wow. Holy cow. Alright, we are moving. Oh my gosh, wow, that's a bit of lag there, but that is to be expected with a very large build like this. And, um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to move out of the way of that. Where was the helm block? Oh, um, that wasn't supposed to happen. Did we hit something? I'm pretty sure we hit something. Hey, it actually, uh, fixed itself a little bit there. That's cool. Um, but we can't really get on board, but we can use the sync tool. Um, we can break some stuff. Let's see what happens if we, uh, go ahead. Whoa. Oh, nope. It's on its way. Oh no, there's an iceberg there. The Olympic is about to strike the iceberg. I guess the conspiracy theories were true. And what the heck? Um, not quite sure what just happened there. But the Olympic has run itself up onto the iceberg. And has now kind of frozen there. But this gives us an opportunity to see if we can actually just hop on board here. Come on. Let's make it. Let's go. 
Go, 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 go. Oh, wow, we're being thrown around here. Holy cow. Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't think this is supposed to happen, but as you can see, the ship is ramming against the iceberg, and whoa! Oh, my gosh. Um, we're capsizing. Oh, it is so laggy right now. The game is lagging a lot. Oh, my gosh. No, I don't even know what's going on. Um, oh, we're underwater. It looks like the Olympic has sunk. Um, as you can see, it looks like the iceberg ripped open a huge portion of the bottom hull there. It has hit the bottom. Um, it's going on its own here. And, um, yeah. Ooh, okay. Well, that was quite interesting. Um, it's unfortunate that the, uh, the Olympic has, uh, ended up this way. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and spawn this in again and see if we can actually, like, maneuver this thing. So, yeah. Alright, I'm back on board, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a control block if I don't see one already here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add one just over by the bridge. So, we're gonna go ahead and add a control seat, and there we go. So, we can actually just sit down here, and now we can maneuver the ship. So, that is cool. Actually, you know what? I want to do it up above the bridge because I can't see through blocks, so... Yeah, we'll add one right here, and, um, that should be good. Alright, cool. Hello. How are you doing? Um, and, uh, let's go ahead and launch, and here we go. So, uh, yep, here we go, and there's, uh, the Titanic, or the Olympic over there. Very right, cool. Uh-oh. Um, this is not working out too great. Uh, we just fell into the water, but, um, there we go. Now we're moving nicely here, and can we actually move the ship? Uh, not really. Um, and wow, this thing is, uh, really light if it's bouncing out of the water like that. Oh, crap, I cannot turn. Um, uh, well, I guess we're going to crash into some of the, uh, the islands here, or the island, and... Oh, we just struck a mine. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Are we gonna go down like Britannic now? Um, or are we just gonna get jammed like this? Um, really not sure what's going on here. Let me go ahead and see if I can fix this here. I think some parts are getting jammed here. Let's break some pieces here. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Oh, boy. Um, what the heck? Whoa. Um, yeah, I think this ship is just too big for the game. Um, oh, nope, there it goes. It's moving now, and, uh, wow, it is flying. The Olympic is flying, um, and now it's on its side, and, wow, okay, quite interesting. Um, not exactly what I expected, but, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and, uh, try a different ship. Probably one that's a little smaller, and then, yeah, maybe that will work better. As you can see, um, at this point, it's trying to go over the edge. Alright, so here's something that's a little more manageable. The Nomadic. So, as you can see, we have it in-game, and it's made out of blocks and not meshes, so this will be pretty interesting, so let's go ahead and and hop on board. Now, obviously, right now, I'm just checking out the pre-built ships, but at some point, I want to start building my own ships in-game, and maybe you guys can suggest some ships for me to build in-game as well. So, yeah, that would be really cool. So, leave your comments below, and uh, maybe if I play this game again, I'll select one of your comments. So, yeah. Oh, and I fell into the water. I don't know why I couldn't jump there, but that was interesting. And here we go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and sit down and uh, let's launch this thing. So here we go and launch. And there we go. Wow, we just sank immediately. Not sure what happened there, but we are uh, a little low in the water. Um, interesting. Well, the heavily sunken nomadic is making its way to the survivor's island, I believe, which uh, I think is that one right in the distance there. And I'm getting some heavy frame drops. Probably because this ship is in-game here, but, um, that looks like the, uh, Oceanic, or I could be wrong, but, yeah, very cool. Oh, wow, this thing's got somewhat of an interior. That's quite interesting. But, yeah, oh, and there's this guy. Hello. How are you doing? Please don't do King of the World. Now, what's cool is there's a sync tool, so we can actually try that out right now. So let's go ahead, select the break tool, and, um, I think we can actually damage parts of the ship and cause it to sink. Oh, wow, um, uh-oh, that's not good. I think we're rolling over. Yep, we are definitely rolling. Oh, no, we actually survived. Interesting. Um, how can we get this thing to sink? Or is it already beginning to lean over a bit? Yeah, um, let's go ahead and actually cause this thing to go down. So, here we go, and let's break a lot of this stuff here. Unless this actually reduces weight from one side and causes this side to sink more, or if it does anything at all, it doesn't seem like it's doing much. Let's do all of these. Let's select all of these in the tool. Oh, yeah. Now we're doing something. Here we go. 
Oh boy, yep, it's rolling over. There it goes. It's capsizing. And there it is. Rolled on its side. So as you can see, the nomadic is really not having a good time whatsoever. Oh, somehow it survived that. The nomadic is a very strong ship, apparently. So yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens when we break some of the deck stuff. Oh, nope, that's done it. And there goes the nomadic to the bottom. So yeah. All right, so I've just spawned in the nomadic again. And there's definitely an issue. As you can see, it sits really low in the water. Um, I'm really not sure why that is. But, yeah, and, uh, oh, we've got it moving here, but what happens when we strike a mine? So, uh, yeah, let's find out. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and strike one of these mines here. Actually, two of them, as you can see right in front of us. And here we go. Let's see. And boom, there goes the bow, just being blown to bits. And it's beginning to roll over a bit, and wow, holy cow. All right, yep, yeah, that is the end for the Nomadic there. As you can see, it's beginning to roll over a bit. It's still going, actually. Thought that would do it end, but no. Um, let's see what happens here. And boom, there it is. And oh my gosh. Oh, it's going down. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Um, what? How did it survive that? It was like sinking, and then all of a sudden it just popped back out. All right, I guess we'll just keep going then. Uh-oh, here we go. Here's another one, and boom! Wow, all right, we're starting to go down by the bow, but I'm not gonna get fooled this time. Oh, and we just got struck by a tsunami. Oh my gosh, wow. Um, did we just get struck by a tsunami and hit by lightning? I think we just got struck by a tsunami and we're both struck by lightning. Oh my gosh, look at this. It is going vertical right now. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get trapped inside. I am trapped inside. Get me out, please. That would be really, really nice right now. All right, I'll just swim down. Oh, wow. Um, everything's on fire. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we got struck by lightning. All right, so before we end off the holy cow, what just happened there? Um, did the, uh, did that ship just split in half? I think it did. Let's go ahead and render aid to that. But before we end off the video, I do actually want to make it to the Survivor's Island. And, oh, no, that ship just disappeared. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody on board is, uh, well, gone or obliterated, so, yeah. Alright, so we're still making our way there now, and, um, luckily we haven't run into any trouble whatsoever, so, yeah, we should be there momentarily, um, and it doesn't seem like a very far journey. It's not as difficult as I would have imagined, and you can see there's a shipwreck down there as well, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we can see that. Oh, yeah, look at that. That actually looks like, uh, it might be a, uh... A player built wreck or something like that but I don't know um oh wow there's actually some debris over here so it might be let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on over here oh yeah that is definitely a wreck oh my gosh what the heck how did this happen I just ran over a piece of metal all right we are back in business and we are about to reach the island here so yeah let's go ahead and uh, beach on the shoreline here so here we go and in true fashion, the ship has, uh, made its way to the island here. So, yep, and we just won the award, uh, for, uh, reaching the island. So, very, very cool. So, yeah, this is a pretty nice game. It's obviously, uh, got a blocky theme to it, which is okay. I mean, I like that as well. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.